Okay, hi, welcome. I'm uh, bringing you the presentation that uh, is for you, Gro, using the screen share and Zoom. All right, the presentation is called How We the People Shall Overcome a Complicated Enemy of Peace. You grow and the sofa plan. We begin with a basic question. What does every person under the sun require for health and happiness? And the answer, clean water, clean air, wholesome organic food, clean soil, a secure home, prosperity, as well. Encouragement to pursue personal purpose, an exper experience of honor, respect, and care within community. The ability to choose privacy without accusation, assumption, or trespass. Support for personal creativity, authority, and autonomy of individual self. Freedom to work, and freedom to rest, freedom to travel, love, and act, being loved and loving, safety, security, and stability, laughter, and joy. These are the things that everybody needs for happiness. So maybe we agree that everyone listening wants all this for themselves, as well as for those they share community with. That if the majority of humanity has had this, we'd all experience humanity's great healing, and that the planet needs humanity to have a great healing. Does anyone disagree that we cannot create peace with methods of violence? Does anyone disagree that we shall never create peace through political opposition? When peace is more useful and important to we the people, than politicians, how do we create it? My you grow plan here will show you how we create all these qualities of life we need through business. Business. We the people have the power, authority, and simple capacity to create clean water, clean air, wholesome organic food, clean soil, a secure home, prosperity, and the rest together. I have a story first to tell you. This is Benjamin Franklin's money story. Back in the 1700s, the American colonies were doing rather better than was expected for a backwoods land. No one paid income tax, yet prices remained stable with no inflation. There was not a single unemployed man, no poor and no vagabonds. When Benjamin Franklin was asked how he could account for all this newfound prosperity, he replied, well, that is simple. In the colonies, we issue our own money. It is called colonial scrip. We issue it in proper proportion to the demands of trade and industry to make the products pass easily from the producers to the consumers. In this manner, creating for ourselves our own paper money, we control its purchasing power and we have no interest to pay to no one. Breaking all the modern conventions of economics, the colonies continued to prosper, producing their own unbanked unbacked interest-free money until the produ production of colonial script was made illegal by the Currency Act of 1764. I'll just say as an aside, that's because Benjamin Franklin went to England and told everybody that's what they were doing. Um, this was an act pressed into law by the Bank of England, fearing the production of colonial script would put them out of business. This act forced the colonies to pay taxes in the form of gold and silver to the British Central Bank. And as a result, the colonies effectively handed back control of their economy to old world interests 
who, for the most part, would never see the new world as anything more than an entry on a balance sheet. Um, I would add that it also uh, made illegal the uh, use of colonial script. The effect of losing colonial script on the colonies was disastrous, bringing a rapid end to their prosperity as economic depression set in. I would add that it was this that was the true uh, motivation for splitting from England and why we had our representatives um, being charged with the job of coining and regulating the money supply in our constitution. Let's go on. Business, commerce, trade, enterprise, shopping, buying, selling, making, manufacturing, building, growing, fixing, solving, healing, helping. There's a world of things we the people do naturally that we can do together without fighting about politics, without harm, offense, or tribulation, as long as we, the people, take on the business of money. When we, the people, take on the business of money, the universe is our oyster, literally. The advanced intergalactics won't interact with unpeaceful races, at the very least. The planet shall be healed. We, the people, must look deep into our souls, have close encounters with God, and conversations with the person we hope to become, and ask ourselves some clarifying questions. Do I deserve or want money, products, or services through the enslavement of my fellow people? Do I deserve or want money, products, or services through destruction of another's health, happiness, or hope? Do I deserve or want money, products, or services through destruction of peace anywhere on the planet? Do I want to use money, products, or services that serves the destruction of nature? When we the people manage and maintain the money method we need to accomplish, we the people also prevent the ugly things that love of money can create. What are those? Oppression, enslavement, cruelty, horror, war, misery and misers, greed and immorality, deceit, racketeering, theft, fraud, manipulation, and how about creating the problem to profit from the solution? Nonetheless, we all must ask, how will I have my needs met? You Grow is not just a company that wants your business. Those are everywhere. You Grow is a portal for we, the people, to rebuild the business of money so that we may truly fulfill our peaceful needs with honor and fairness. Uh, let me take this. So let's get into you grow in the sofa and how we the people get involved and work together to manage the business of money such that egregious addiction to it will be prevented, prohibited and removed without ending the possibility of individuals personally having a lot of it. First, let's create some shortcuts. And castle symbol equals the clean air, clean water, wholesome organic food, clean soil, humane practices, fairnesses, fairness, a secure home, prosperity, and, and that entire list that we saw over here. Uh, the castle equals encouragement to pursue personal purpose, an experience of honor, respect and care with the community, ability to choose privacy without accusation, assumption of trespass, support for personal creativity, authority and autonomy of individual self, freedom to work and freedom to rest, freedom to travel, love and act, being loved and loving, safety, security and stability, laughter and joy. The castle represents all that. 
the compass represents our moral compass, that peace begets peace. Another's peace is our happiness because another's peace contributes to our own. The balance symbol, a balanced, stable economy that serves the good of all. I know that this is usually the justice symbol, but economic justice is justice. And the heart symbol equals, we the people with yearning for unilateral peace and well-being. We measure one another solely on the content of character and the sum of all our actions. Ugrow looks like a business. Ugrow will be an e-commerce site. One level, of it, one level of it will exist in what you would say is a regular e-commerce site, focusing on quality items and services we the people create for one another. Another level will serve members of the SOFA. The SOFA level will have additional functions that are not seen on the regular e-commerce site. That should be a singular. Oops, we're down here. The Alliance's long title is the Shepherds of Freedom Alliance, or SOFA for short. This is a fancy way of saying we the people who are ready to actively engage in positive change. The members of the Alliance are we the people at the forefront of the awakening moral movement across the globe called the Great Awakening to, where, to prepare our planet for fairness and justice and all the, the list of things that each of us needs for personal happiness. The Shepherds of Freedom Alliance is going to contract together to do so. A lot of times when the word contract comes up, people's eyes gloss over. So please keep them open and I'll answer all the questions that you have. If you're watching here on YouTube, uh, you can put the questions in the comments. First of all, I'd like you to be soft on the idea of contracting. For example, I invited you here, or I put this on YouTube, to learn about you grow and so far. Your part in the agreement is to come and be open to the ideas. My part is doing the presentation. This is a simple performance contract between us. The main thing to understand about contracts is that all economic activity is based on contracts. All legal activity is also based on contracts. We the people have untapped economic power and authority in our ability to contract together. And that's an economic power and authority that you grow will help us bring to bear. Our right to contract is expressed in the Constitution, Section 10, Clause 1. No state shall enter into any law impairing the obligation of contracts. And there's a link if you go to law.justia.com and look up the obligation of contracts. You'll see a lot of, uh, a lot of squirrely language about it. Um, basically, when the people want to contract together as an association, as a membership, and they have the right to do, make any contracts that serves them and serves their, uh, the way they want to govern, govern themselves. I think the standard is very, um, very high, the amount of things we can do, because the only preventative measure is if, quote unquote, evil is uh, an outcome of our contracting. And of course, what we wanna do is completely good. The great awakening going on across the planet consists of we the people recognizing that corporate evil being perpetrated on our planet will not stop on its own accord. 
and an organized intervention by we the people is required as a moral duty, as a matter of life, as a matter of honor. While the verbiage of Section 10, Clause 1, and in general, all legal verbiage is squarely, we the people, no violence from peace. We the people who choose to become members of the SOFA, here's the symbol for the Shepherds of Freedom Alliance, exercise contractual agreements to create an economic environment for the good of all. But how? Let's see. When we choose to become a SOFA member of the Great Awakening Alliance, we purchase funds. So this is probably confusing. Why don't we choose? Just say, take this out. When we choose to become a SOFA member, a Shepherd of Freedom Alliance member, we purchase funds. By purchasing them, we become a Shepherd member of the Alliance. No. Not everyone is allowed to purchase funds and become a member. That's what makes it a separate group, also known as a, a membership or an association. In general, we the people with good small businesses and good services are all welcome. This is a we the people alliance. However, the Shepherds of Freedom Alliance is not open to members of the government, politicians, or bureaucrats. It is also not open to employees or members or owners of specifically destructive corporations such as Asante. Small s. Does that read right? In general, we the people with good small businesses and good services are, all, I'm gonna go back and change that later. I think that could be worded better. There is a peg process to propose and enact exceptions to the rules. What does peg stand for? Where are we? Are we going to peg? Uh, I'll explain peg a little bit later. Peg stands for proposal enactment governance. <clears throat> UGRO is forming its LLC partnership as I speak. Well, the LLC is formed, but I'm inviting more partners. There'll be eight managing members. UGRO is the vehicle to bring the Shepherds of Freedom into being. However, the Shepherds of Freedom will exist beyond UGRO. I, I got a, um, a concept while I was hiking yesterday. Uh, it's almost as if uh, if you were going to go and buy an animal, maybe buy a dog or buy a, another animal, and that animal was pregnant, you would also be buying the offspring, and the offspring would have their own lives. So in a way, that's what's happening with you grow. You grow is the business that's on a commercial site. It has a secondary level just for the Shepherds of Freedom. And the Shepherds of Freedom are an independent, will become independent of UGRO and still utilize UGRO. UGRO will offer e commerce to the public and then a second level of e commerce just for Shepherds of Freedom. The SOFA members will be able to use a token UGRO calls funds along with regular money. What are FUNs? This is an intentional play on meaning. We often think of funds as dollars or FRNs, Federal Reserve notes, maybe now Bitcoin or gold or silver. Funds stand for freedom universal notes. They are only exchangeable between the shepherds of freedom and the alliance. Their symbol is the and. So uh, dollars, let me put an S there. Dollars are the dollar symbol. Funds are the and symbol. I like that particularly because it's an expansive signal, whereas the dollar symbol seems to be a jail sign in a way. So I like that. So I'm glad that I came to me to use. Well, how do you get funds? 
You buy them. Simple, easy peasy. Now you are a shepherd of freedom, a member of the Alliance. So here's where Hugo does something new and amazing. Hugo does not keep all the money for itself. Doesn't keep a third of the money. Doesn't even keep a half of the money that's coming in from memberships. By charter and for the duration of its existence, may Hugo live long and strong, Hugo puts three quarters of the Shepherd of Freedom's members membership money into a separate pooled account. This separate pooled account is the beginning of we the people's management of our economy. The Shepherds of Freedom Alliance leads the way and learns the way together for one day the rest to follow. Remember, in order to heal our planet and end the toxification, we must end all spiritual and emotional toxification as well. We must end profit through enslavement and destruction. The pool will be used to support the exact work we need to heal ourselves and the planet. Hugo, its managing members, doesn't decide what to spend it on. All the, mem the shepherds do. Let's see, let me do it like this. A little S. Uh, the shepherds choose the small businesses or small startups or service pro providers to invest in. There will be restorative and regenerative principles uh, to the object as the object of shepherds' choices to invest. Our nation's food supply has long been poisoned and nothing to buy them. For the good of all and all nature, we shall head steadfastly and persistently towards organic, humane, permacultural food practices. We shall head steadfastly towards quality craftsmanship away from the intentionally disposable and subpar products as a repeat business model. Repeat. Let me put the little thing. Repeat business model. Our energy's nation, our nation's energy methods and housing stock have long been subpar. Our for-profit health system is an oxymoron. Our clean energy sources are potential sources. Have been deliberately censored and suppressed by big utilities. Um, governmental, uh, with governmental, with governmental something something. I'll fix that later. Our higher education system is miring my dear future in debt. Together. We should bring forward the resourceful solutions with the money to create them, it's the, the alliance. With more and more people, as with time, more and more of we, the people should become members of the alliance. And one day there'll be enough people such that all of we, the people should be managing all of our economy to do right by each other and the planet every time. Hold this idea in your heart, in your imagination, and breathe. Let this idea take root there. Let it take root stronger than the dystopian movie plots and the outrage and fear peddling news. And breathe. Hold this vision and give it time so that you may undo the hypnosis that we've been under and give yourself the correct 
mind to do the healing that we must. I'm going to use a shortcut to describe the worthy businesses and services. I'm going to describe them as puzzle pieces fitting together. So I've gotten ahead of myself and you need to see where we're headed. <clears throat> Members of We the People become members of the Alliance by using dollars. <clears throat> and Ugro gives each an amount of funds in the same unit amount of their dollars. Remember, funds are symbolized as the and symbol in our old dollar system is symbolized by the dollar sign. 75% of the dollars are pooled. And members use a process named PEG to design the small businesses and services to grow. The remaining 25% of the money allows you grow to build. When shepherds invest in the businesses and services, there is an obligation created by investment. The obligation is held by the businesses and services. However, it's not the same as debt. Debt is the problem of our monetary system and why it is currently collapsing. Debt is in and of itself a creature of violence. I'll leave that aside here and move on. Another shortcut. Products or services equal a plus plus a check. So instead of being indebted, the businesses and services pay it forward. They accept funds for the products and services they create as a result of the investment. They do not have to put all of their products and services up in exchange for funds. They can. Yet they're only obligated to put 125% up for sale in retail numbers. Most will turn the dollar investment into three to seven times the value of the dollar investment. That's what business is about. Um, so there, when the 225% uh, means that the, um, <clears throat> that they got, that will make, uh, make it a whole number. So the in Shepherds of Freedom, let me see if I explain it well the next one. I hope I do. This way, the Alliance will be able to purchase products and services with their funds in an equal amount of their membership investment. Of course, every member of the Alliance as an individual or as a business or service by choice may offer their products and services for funds instead of money. This increases the strength and power of our economic migration away from economic violence and towards economic good. So bear in mind that the uh, businesses that take an investment that we give the investment to must turn around and in retail numbers, which of course is different than wholesale, put up, uh, let's say they got $100, they need to put up $125 worth of retail products that members can buy. Anybody else can also put up anything. So we increase how much we can buy with our funds. So let's look at the PEG, the Proposal Enactment Governance, before we go. I like the PEG. Um, um, because you can actually picture a peg where you hang your, your coat on. Peg, as I said, stands for Proposal Enactment Governance. Peg will allow all those who use it to make proposals and rank them collectively for most liked. <clears throat> With use, peg should be used to decide more complex governance needs. It shall be used to propose policy, process, and actions members of the Alliance want. A stage will be added to propose and rank leadership. The gift 
give us, give, let's just put this here. And one more space there. And agreed upon budget and a time frame to fulfill their duty. Eventually, PEG should be used by we the people to create representative government governance directly accountable to and fulfilling the expressed plans and needs of we the people. Okay. As soon as possible, newgrow.com, which is now hosting the UGrow plan, shall host the e-commerce site. Needed are donating angels to produce the complicated website. And we the people to share the UGrow choice far and wide. A local area can bring can begin a Shepherds of Freedom a social chapter and invest locally. This, the Shepherds of Freedom Alliance is open to international partners. As the dollar collapses entirely, the funds shall move to be measured by the value of gold. The UGRO LLC will be owned and operated by eight managing members. I will say that we will utilize independent contractors. Uh, and as I said, it's been established and some of the managing members are uh, being realized. The Ugo Alliance shall be owned and managed by themselves. So as I said, the PEG proposal system allows the Alliance to govern itself uh, uh, locally and then there can be nationally uh, areas of um, areas of self-governance. Actually, what the PEG does is it brings governance into the 21st century. Back when uh, Benjamin Franklin was the you know obviously we didn't have computers, we didn't have phones, and so forth, and so we had to uh, rely on representatives to you know, do their thing. We had to. Uh, we had other mechanism, mechanisms in place to hold them accountable that have since been undone. Uh, many of which happened in uh, 1913, particularly when the senators became um, pub elected publicly rather than by the house. But this I won't get too far in that because I just want to make this uh, fairly simple. But this is a way that we can um, create self-governance um, of we the people and get our needs met and become managers of the, uh, the money that we need to do, use. And when we have, when we the people effectively manage the money method, which is essentially what the founding fathers uh, declared independence from England to do, so that the Congress, which were representative of the people, could coin and regulate the money supply, which of course was later undermined as the Federal Reserve masquerading as a governmental entity, but it's a private banking cartel, um, came in and um, now is really indenturing all of the people to uh, a very mm, cruel and unharmonious uh, wor world. So I didn't, the Ugo is to give us that path uh, where we can rebuild our, our planets and we have to start with where we are. So here we have We the People as our moral, moral compass times, business and services, plus the self-alliance, the Freedom Alliance, and the funds, the Freedom Universal Needs, equals the balance of economic justice and all those things, the path, all those things that we each and collectively need for our uh, 
our habits. And there, um, the next phase is to ask questions, since this is on YouTube, is just put the questions in, in the um, reply, and I'll uh, see what I can do to answer them. I, I do want to say that I really believe, and I can see, that when we bring this new girl forward, and we do it correctly, we can bring it forward with speed and with strength and with uh, adaptation as we go using the PEG process, such that we can meet the threat of the central bank digital currency with an entirely better solution. We can uh, reduce the problem of uh, scarcity as the uh, designed dollar, the dollar collapse is designed for uh, the corporations, the corporate empire, to seize all the assets of the people. Well, here we have, uh, we have a way to keep our prosperity going. And um, among the partnerships on uh, YouGrow are some brilliant people who can, <clears throat> who will offer an easy way that people can understand to prevent the worst and to change the course for us, to prevent the worst of the uh, corporate problems. <coughs> I won't go into it much more, but just know that there's some brilliant people involved in you grow already. And thank you. Thank you for listening. This is Peyton signing off. <laughs>